These long cantilevered wings of the house make it quite a vision. The design challenge, however, was to maximize the views through the dense natural vegetation. By setting the building at a 45 degree angle to the road and bordering properties, the views became unobstructed and work could begin. Art like this sculpture by Rechard van der Meulen and an array of custom-made furniture and fittings complement the architecture. Shanae, you've done an incredible job with this home. Yes, um, well, in the kitchen, um, the kitchen designers used the be beautiful neolith and married that up with oak. And then we go into the dining room where we've used ashwood and a beautiful charcoal stain. And then just because everybody's tactile, we did a beautiful um, velvet on the inside of the a chair and a linen embroidered um, abstract pattern on the outside and I really love these vessels. It's almost like an incubation uh, a vessel for a prateer. In these biovin sea and enemy lights, more organic shapes are introduced. The winding staircase and the curve of the living room furniture bring contrast to the straight lines of the architecture. This lounge looks so comfortable. Yes, this lounge is very comfortable and we are so fortunate that we are in the position where we can be playing with this most beautiful fabrics from Romo and Zinc and Osborne and Little. And also Natal has such high humidity. Velvet's always cool to the touch and it's such a beautiful, luxurious fabric. The furniture all looks quite unique. Are they all custom made? Yes, everything in the house has been custom made for this client. Uh, we were so fortunate with this beautifully uh, designed spiral staircase that we could bring in a curved sofa to complement the home. And then we've earthed this room with this beautiful hand knotted silk bamboo uh, rug. But this isn't the only lounge, is it? No, this is the entertainer's dream home. There are so many beautiful lounging areas. Can I take you to one outside? <laughs> The owners grew up modestly in Chatsworth, met while studying law and went into practice together. A home in this coastal forest estate was their dream and landscaper Byron Peach helped bring their vision to life. Byron, what theme were you going for here? The theme of the garden was a 100% indigenous garden which ties in with the rest of the Zimbali coastal estate. Um, it's a dual purpose garden that's supposed to obviously look good and complement this beautiful home, but it also is here to serve a purpose in that it accommodates the wildlife. Um, there's a lot of plants in here, the bushbuck brows. The couple first owned and lived in another property on the estate, so they knew how to make the most of the surrounds when they built here. The design elements to this garden is we wanted a beautiful flowing garden around this, this home um, with certain focal points such as the, the floating planter and the water feature, um, big bold aloes, architectural plants that really complement this beautiful home. Inside, the spiral staircase is where the three rectangular forms of the house intersect. The bold female portrait by Mabet Fermak and Branquino agate stone lights lead up to the bedrooms. Harmony, this is the family's private pajama lounge area. This is where they spend most of their time together as a family in the evenings. As I walked in, I saw a sitar. Are there any other elements that are really personal to the family? Yes, that sitar has actually been picked up in one of their last trips to Mumbai. And then these beautiful paintings were purchased many years ago in Jaipur. And they actually kept it rolled up and um, waiting for the moment when they can actually hang them in their new dream home. What other rooms are on this level? Well, if we go into that wing, we have the kids' bedrooms. The boys' bedroom um, is quite masculine and it's uh, filled with textures and monotone colours, where the girls' bedroom is soft and feminine with pale aquas and saturated teal colours and beautifully hand-blown pendants next to her bed. Uh, and then also the study next door it's the husband's favourite area where he sits. It's a beautiful, masculine, tranquil area. it has got a lovely view of the golf course. The lady of the house is a conveyancing attorney, dealing with other people's property business all day. So coming home to this luxurious refuge is its own form of therapy. Shanae, I can see why this is your favourite room. I think so many women want to walk in closet. Any girl wants a walking dressing room like this. It is too beautiful for words and it's so generous in terms of space. Uh, initially, 
This was designed as two independent rooms, so the dressing room was separate from the bathroom and just thought, no, it could be such a lovely inviting area. So we took down all the walls and it took some thinking of getting the layout right, but I think it came out beautifully. The island, the space, I love it. The centerpiece is absolutely fantastic. Uh, the island affords you so much more packing and storage space. And everything in this bathroom is magnificent, from the underslung uh, basins, to the Pure Vida taps, the stunning freestanding bath, the generous open shower, and all this natural light. It's really a dream. The morning sun from the east animates every subtle color choice in the calm, peaceful bedroom. The Bermuda blues and buttoned velvets add to the sense of tranquility and a breeze off the Indian Ocean fills the air. Uh, this is insane. Look wow. at that. <laughs> Look at this view. Isn't it beautiful? Amazing. It's, it's absolutely gorgeous. And it's like a 180 degree view. like. Oh wow, the greens, the ocean. This house is literally surrounded by the golf course. You can see the golf course from every window and then the spectacular sea view. And the blue of the ocean beautifully reflects the blue color scheme that's going on in this room. Good that you've noticed, yes. <laughs> uh, so we've used all the beautiful tranquil colors of the sea, um, the very light grays through to your more saturated blues. Uh, even the sea green and more tealy colours. It's also beautifully complemented by these light fixtures. Now these light fixtures were brought in especially for the client, uh, the bolo design, and they are also a really beautiful functional piece of art. Why do I feel like there's more to this room? This is the, a girl's dream bedroom. It's a wire-free environment, so all your wires are hidden in the cabinetry so that you can charge your phones and uh, run your uh, switches from one point. This family is really blessed, and I feel like I already know them. Well, the kids are outside. I think I should introduce you. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. The house is a tale of passion and perseverance as much as design. It is testament to the problem solving of architect Nigel Tarbiton and the dedication of the clients who worked so hard for this. Their children appreciate what it took to get here. Raul, I know that you particularly enjoy the pyjama lounge. When I come home, I, I enjoy chilling, you know, watching series, playing some games. So I think the PJ lounge is just a nice secluded place for me to do that. Mikara, what do you like about living here? Everything. <laughs> My dad is an avid golfer, so he's been playing for the past 21 years. And um, of course, his favorite course is in Bali, uh, hence why we're now living in this prestigious estate. So um, through him, I also started playing golf, and it's great to be here and play in one of the championship courses. Nigel, I've been meaning to ask you, how is it working on a project of this magnitude? Well, the vision for, for the design was really to create a, a home that, that had a sense of movement. And the concept that I used to achieve that was really look, getting three rectangular forms and arranging them in a way that they were sort of moving across one another. So that really was, was the, the concept and it's, it's worked well. Um, beyond that, uh, we've, we've used cantilevers, we've used a lot of horizontal lines to reinforce the sense of movement. Shanae, thank you for this lovely tour. And guys, thank you so much for opening your lovely home to me. But before we go, how about that tour in the Porsche? <laughs> <laughs>